So here we've got a young film crew shooting a scene. The first thing that we should do, even before we start filming, is check the frame rate and resolution. If you accidentally end up shooting in the wrong frame rate or in a different resolution, it can lead to some big problems when editing. Just make sure whatever resolution you're shooting in is consistent. The standard for film is 24 frames at 1080p. At the moment, we're shooting a pretty dramatic scene, and the location doesn't really support that. It's a bit too ordinary. Let's try something different. When finding a location to film in, it's important to take into account the noise and the amount of pedestrians in the area. You don't want to be disrupted in the middle of a take. Hey, what are you guys shooting? You don't want to be disrupted in the middle of a take. If possible, it's much easier to film inside. This way you don't have to worry about noises from planes, cars and passers-by. Bad sound is a big telltale sign of amateur filmmaking. Putting your microphone on a boom, even if it's just a broom handle, hugely improves the sound quality of your film as you're able to get the mic closer to the action. Just make sure the boom doesn't get into shot. Another crucial part of filmmaking is lighting as it sets the tone and the mood for the film. When lighting a scene, experiment. Try using different types of lights, whether that's household lamps, torches, candles, or LEDs. And just remember to always light the eyes, as they're the window to the soul and what connect your audience to the story. Something that is often overlooked with beginner filmmakers is costumes. Try and avoid just going with the clothes that the actors show up in on the day. Instead, plan ahead and ask your actors to bring a range of clothes that suit their character. Or if they don't have what you're after, go to the local charity store and see what bargains you can find there. When you're making a film, you don't necessarily shoot things in chronological order. And when you do multiple takes from multiple camera angles, it's easy to forget where the actors are meant to be and what props go where. You're the one who wanted some adventure in your life. It was peaceful and quiet before you came along. You need to make sure that everything stays consistent within your scene. When it's not, it's called a continuity error. The best way to prevent them is to have a script supervisor on set. Their job is to photograph and take notes of any changes that happen throughout the scene. Another thing we can improve on is dialogue. Often beginner filmmakers use dialogue to tell the audience how the characters feel, rather than showing it. The beauty with film is that sometimes, instead of saying something, we can show it. One last tip. To keep the scene interesting and dynamic, move the actors around the room or location, rather than just having them sit in one spot. This is called blocking, and if done well, can make a boring scene exciting. So with just a few simple recommendations, we've taken a scene like this. You're always getting us into trouble. Why can't you just stop and think for what's life? You were the one who wanted some adventure in your life. And turned it into a scene like this. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you found some of these tips helpful and you'll be able to use them in your future film projects. If you've got any requests for future vlogs, feel free to post them below. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and I'll see you all very soon.